yeah uh, we will see another set of uh, problems where uh, the type of uh, data given uh, that is uh, uh, the front view distance is given here uh, with the front view how to uh, come to uh, solve this problem how to solve these problems when we have front view distance and other uh, data and uh, these are uh, again uh, simple type of problems only so this is the problem statement a line measuring 80 mm long so true length is given as one of its ends 60 mm above hp and 20 mm in front of vp so one end is 60 mm above hp and 20 mm in front of vp the other end is 15 mm above hp and in front of vp so another end in front of vp distance is not known only above hp distance is given but the front view of the line so that is a dash uh, b dash distance is 60 mm long draw its top view so there are no specific notations uh, mentioned here we can use our own notations no problem at all so uh, we will solve this so one end is 60 mm above hp so that is a dash so another end is 20 mm in front of vp so 20 mm in front of vp so we will consider this as a dash and this will become our a right so now we got one end one end we have to find the other end right the other end is 15 mm above hp so other end is given so this will become our locus of b dash so this is locus of b dash in front of vp is not known it is not given so instead we have the true length so we can easily find out the other uh, end so this is a dash and 80 mm long so this is 80 mm long so a dash b1 dash is 80 mm long but the front view distance is given 60 mm <coughs> so this is the front view distance so this is the b2 dash so b2 dash is known here so that is 60 mm long so we have to rotate we have to rotate this till locus of b dash locus of b dash so this will be our final front view so this is again 60 mm only b dash so before rotating it right we have this b b2 somewhere on this line so we have to draw a projector so on this projector somewhere we have our b2 so if we have b2 students then it is uh, the locus of b so if we get b2 locus of b also we can easily get so locus of b is obtained it can be obtained very easily here right since we know the distance so this is the true length so already true length is known so that is 80 mm so cut the arc in earlier case uh, we have done it in uh, from top view so we are doing it from front view in this type of problem so this is b2 so b2 this is the thin line this is the thin line b2 so if we project b2 dash we are rotating it and we are getting a dash b dash so now this is true length true length line so this is the locus of b locus of b so if we know the locus of b it is very easy to get the b uh, the top view top view here so top view is very simple and uh, this is b1 right so already we have uh, drawn b1 we have to draw this up to locus of a so up to the fixed line so this is the fixed line so this will become our b1 so this is b1 so now a b1 as radius a as center rotate this in this direction so this is the direction of rotation it is very important students don't miss to uh, draw the arrow head to show the direction of rotation so this is our final b and this should be drawn with thick line thick line this is the final top view final top view you can cross check by drawing a thin line here right you can do that now it is lying on the same uh, thin projector so our problem is 100 percent correct we will see one more problem of this kind so problem number 13 the front view of the line ab 90 mm long measures 65 mm so front view is 90 mm and uh, the sorry the true length is 90 mm the front view is 65 mm 
and is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. Right? So the front view is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. Its one end A is 15 mm above HP and on VP. Draw the projections of the line and find its inclinations with HP and VP. So we have to the projections and inclinations. So we, are, we need to find alpha, beta also here. The inclinations with HP and VP. So here the front view is given. It is very similar to earlier problem. Front view distance is known and uh, its one end is 15 mm above HP. So we, we can uh, call it as A dash is at 15 mm above HP and uh, and on vp so it is on vp so here a will be on xy reference line since it is on vp right a is nothing but top view top view is on xy reference line on vp so that is the a dash position and uh, we have 45 degree line we have 45 degree line and this is the front view front view is at 45 degree so a dash b dash obtained directly and draw the locus of b dash straight away so this is the locus of b dash locus of b dash and we know it is 90 degree sorry 90 mm we can cut the arc so from a dash cut the arc at 90 mm 90 mm so this is the 90 mm 90 mm so 90 mm you have to show carefully so there is no uh, inter uh, what you call uh, uh, overlap overlap of these dimensions you should uh, we, you should be very careful and the b dash is obtained b1 dash is obtained now it is up to a we have to project right so that is our usual practice so this is up to uh, b uh, up to a this is the locus of a itself so now this is somewhere you can draw a, a, a thin arc you can draw a thin arc and uh, this is a from here you can proceed very easily but drawing projectile so from b dash we know that b dash and b will be lying on the same projector the intersecting point of this arc and this projector will be your final b so this is your b and you are getting a b straight away so this is a b and this becomes your locus of b and uh, this is uh, this is you rotate in reverse order so now you are rotating is it in reverse order so this will be your b2 dash so this is your b2 dash and uh, you wrote you you just project it up to locus of b line so this will be your b1 this is your b1 and uh, now the the problem is completed and this is theta and this is pi right theta and phi right theta and phi and uh, these are the true inclinations right true inclinations theta and phi we need to find and 30 degrees and 45 43 degrees i am getting and uh, please try to solve this and uh, you are getting the same answer uh, we will uh, we can cross check right so uh, that is uh, the when the distance front view distance is given we can proceed in this way right so to solve this problem right uh, there will be different ways we have to find a uh, right right way and we can uh, we should complete the problem and for one problem there, there might be uh, different solutions also right you, you may have to proceed in different uh, steps right as i said in our uh, earlier class we will see a few more problems